He has very straight hair and is standing up naturally. Um, we're going to take about two inches off, inch and a half off. He wants to cut most of the blonde off. So I'm going to demonstrate how to layer hair. I'm going to demonstrate how to, fa uh, uh, how to fade hair. And then I'm going to demonstrate uh, a taper at an angle around the edges. So we're going we're to do three haircuts in one. And then at the end when I style it, and I'll be talking about it through the haircut, how, what, what makes it stand up better. OK. So I'm going to start out. We can use two different techniques. We can use scissor over fingers or scissor over comb. We're going to start out on the top section. So in the center on the right half, I'm going to use scissor over fingers. And on the left half, I'm going to show you scissor over comb to show you you, could, you can approach it either way. So what I want to do is I'm going to start in the back. Okay, I'm going to comb the hair up and I'm going to get a guide. And I'm going to make, I'm going to cut most of the blonde off and I'm going to make two cuts, three cuts, not past as long as I don't go past my center knuckle. I'm creating my center guide. I have my previous guide always in my fingers so I can see where I'm coming from. Okay. I like to use a traveling guide. And when I'm using scissor over comb, I like to use anywhere from a, a, a six to a seven inch uh, scissor or shear, whatever you like to call them. Now when I'm on the top section, my fingers are parallel to the floor. Okay? And my comb is parallel to the floor. I don't want to round it. Okay? And then as I go towards the front, I'm going to spin you just to the side, just a little bit here. Okay, so this is the shape we're looking for here. Okay? So it's naturally going to be longer in the front, and it's naturally going to be longer in the back. The head is round, it's a more of a square shaped haircut. So just by holding your comb or your fingers parallel to the floor, you're going to naturally get that square shape. So, gonna, so, when, I, um, so when I turn them in front, I didn't mean to grab you there, I forgot I didn't have a barber chair. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna, so I want to take an imaginary line straight out until I run out of hair on that same plane. Okay, so that's my center section. Okay, so now I'm gonna comb it back again. I'm gonna take one section on the right. Okay, so you can, I can see my center guide and I can see my previous guide from the previous cut. So I'm gonna make two cuts. I'm gonna grab all that hair or three as long as I don't go past my, my center knuckle. Now what this is going to do by keeping my fingers parallel across the top, when we comb it all the way to the center, this haircut is going to be a little bit shorter and it's going to go to the center better. Okay? So now I'm going to do a scissor over comb on the opposite side. Just to show you there's not as much difference. There's two things that you can do. You can either use, I'm going to use a light colored comb so you can see it. Light color with dark hair, which is basically just a cricket comb. My favorite comb to do clipper over comb or scissor over comb is a flat top comb. A big comb that I can control a lot of hair. So, but either way you have to use a bigger comb and I use an eight inch, I use an eight inch shear, I call them scissors, to, uh, to cut with my scissor over comb. So basically I'm going to do the same thing. The scissors like my, or the comb is like my fingers and if you count how many times I close the scissor, okay I'm already at seven, eight, ten, twelve, that's how many sections I would have to take with my with my fingers to get the same, the, the same result. So when you cross check it when you're doing scissor over comb versus picking it up, okay, it's very, it's very accurate and on the other side we're still accurate but you could still see like a little bit of a difference. So that, the, the main reason is you have to, the more sections you take, the more accurate your work is going to be. Scissor over comb allow, or clipper over comb allows you to, to take the maximum amount of sections. So I have this, again, just to review, I have this picture in my mind. I'm cutting on this plane so the hair is longer in the front, longer in the crown so we don't stick up. So as I come forward, I take an imaginary line and follow it until I run out of hair. That's what it's going to leave, that's how it's going to leave it longer.